Hi everyone, this is Swati Markanda Chatur, working as assistant professor in Department of Chemistry at Maratha Vidya Prasarak Samaj, Nashik. In this lecture, I will be focusing on the reaction intermediates. So, first of all, what are intermediates? An intermediate in a chemical reaction is a reactive species which is formed from the reactant and converted to the product. As we know in you know, organic synthesis there are many reactions and the reactions via intermediate are the more common in organic synthesis. There are also some reactions which proceeds via the transition state and the intermediates are very short lifetime that is it can react immediately after their formation and the intermediates can be isolated if they are sufficiently stable and for the determination of their presence in a chemical reaction the trapping technique is used that means an intermediate is a species which have the very short lifetime and it can be react immediately after their formation but it can be trapped and also the spectroscopic methods provide the more useful information about the existence of intermediates. So the detection of intermediates, the intermediates are highly unstable and hence in the most reaction the intermediate cannot be isolated but can be detected by a nuclear magnetic resonance spectroscopy, mass, spectros uh, mass spectrometry, then infrared spectroscopy electron spin spectroscopy and Raman spectroscopy. For example, the linear structure of NO2 positive is detected by the Raman spectroscopic technique. Similarly, the existence of free radical can be determined by the ESR spectroscopy and there is one trapping technique is also the method in which the detection of intermediate can be possible. In this method, the intermediates are trapped by running the reaction in the presence of some, some of other species which can react with the formed intermediate. For example, the benzene reacts with the dyne. We know the very well known reaction, the dyne cellular reaction. Therefore, if any reaction where a benzene is an intermediate, the reaction is conducted in presence of a dye and the formation of dye alder order indicate that if there is a benzene is formed during the course of the reaction. For example, the anthracene on the reaction with benzene forms the dye alder order. Here it is a reaction. This is the anthracene and this is the benzene which is intermediate it can be trapped with this reaction when anthracene is reacted with this benzene this is the 4 plus 2 cycloaddition reaction very well known reaction that is a dye cellular reaction and we got this product here are the types of intermediates carbocation carbonyl, free radical, then the carbene, two types of carbene and nitrogen. So our first intermediate is carbocation. See the definition. The carbocation is an ion with a positive charge on the carbon ion and it is classified into two types according to its valency. The carbonium ion that is the trivalent and next one is pentavalent that is the carbonium ion. The 
pentavalent carbonium ion it is very rarer hence we use the term carbocation for the carbonium ion generally we say the carbocation not carbonium ion the trivalent ion is a more common carbocation and the carbonium ion that is the pentavalent is a rarer therefore we use the term carbocation for the carbonium ion the discovery of carbocation in 1902 the norris and kerman discover that colorless triphenyl methanol gives the bright yellow colored solution in a concentrated sulfuric acid a similar observation was found with the triphenyl methyl chloride when it was treated with the lewis acid such as alcl3 essential for that is it gives the bright orange color compound see the reactions here it is a triphenyl methanol when react with concentrated h2so4 it gives the bright yellow color solution this is the bright yellow color and here it is a formation of carbocation and the next reaction is the triphenyl methyl chloride when treated with lewis acid alcl3 this is gives the bright orange color solution and the first nma spectrum for the carbocation was reported by during in 1958 and it was heptamethyl benzenium ion in 1962 ola treated tertiary butyl fluoride with magic acid and he observed the tertiary butyl carbocation by the h1 enamel here it is a reaction the heptamethyl benzenium sorry this is the tertiary butyl fluoride when it is reacted with the magic acid it gives heptamethyl benzenium ion when the tertiary butyl fluoride is reacted with the magic acid it gives the tertiary butyl carbocation and this can be seen by the scientist ola by the h1 enamel the singlet for three methyl groups in the h1 enamel spectroscopy is observed in the structure of carbocation this is the structure for carbocation this is the empty p orbital and three bonding pairs the geometry of carbocation is a trigonal planar the carbon is sp2 hybridized and the bond angle between two alkyl groups in carbocation is 120 degree due to its planar geometry the carbocation can be generated at the non rigid position like the bridge headed position in a bridge head compound for example this is a 1 bromo norborane this is 1 bromo norborane does not form the carbocation because here it is a bridge head position due to its planar geometry the carbocation cannot be generated here at the non planar rigid position that is a in bridge head compound similarly this is the one chlorocampane cannot generate the carbocation at bridge head position this is the more important thing that in norborane system at the bridge head position the carbocation cannot form due to its non planar rigid position in the stability of carbocation the carbocation are electron deficient therefore 
it can be stabilized by the electron donating group and destabilized by the electron withdrawing group so first let's see the electron donating effect the electron donating inductive effect then hyper conjugation and electron donating resonance effect these three are electron donating effect can stabilize the carbocation here are three carbocations that are this is the tertiary carbocation secondary carbocation and primary carbocation in which the tertiary carbocation is more stable due to the presence of three methyl groups are the electron donating therefore here it is a plus i inductive effect that is electron donating inductive effect is more than these two therefore the this tertiary carbocation is more stable than secondary than primary and here there is a presence of cyanide this is the electron withdrawing group present over this carbon atom therefore this is the the cyanide shows the electron withdrawing effect and destabilize this carbocation therefore this one is more stable than this carbocation the next stabilizing effect is resonance stabilization the resonance spread the charge over more than two center here we have a three carbon atom and this positive charge is spread over this two carbon atom that in first in this structure the carbocation at this carbon and after the resonating this pi bond the carbocation is placed over this carbon atom that means the resonance spread the charge over more than two center and thereby increases the stability the allyl and benzene carbocation are stabilized by the delocalization into the double bond this is the allyl system and this carbocation is stabilized due to this resonance stabilization therefore the carbocation is more stable in this structure this carbocation is stable here it is a benzene stabilization the carbocation is present over this carbon atom and this can be stabilized by the delocalization of this pi bond after the stabilization here it is a formation of positive charge and it can be stabilized by the resonance of this double bond therefore here it is a three stabilizing structure resonance structure therefore this carbocation is stabilized more effectively with the resonance stabilization the groups having the plus r effect stabilizes the carbocation and those having the minus r effect that are destabilize the carbocation here we have a two structures structure x and next one is y in this structure only the difference is here it is a electron donating group present over this carbon and here the electron withdrawing group is present due to the presence of electron donating group this carbocation is more stable because here ome methoxy group the lone pair of over this oxygen can be delocalized with this conjugation conjugated benzene ring therefore this carbocation is more effectively stabilized than this one while here the nitro group is electron withdrawing therefore it can withdraw the electron density towards itself and the carbocation makes more destabilizes therefore the carbocation x is more stable than the y due to the plus r effect and the carbocation in the y is destabilized 
due to this minus r effect of nitro group on the basis of resonance effect the stability of carbocation is here we have a three structures in which in first structure here it is a carbocation and this carbon atom is attached to three phenyl rings and as we know the phenyl ring shows the resonance effect and it can be stabilized this carbocation here we have three ring therefore this is more stable carbocation than these two structures therefore we write here this is more stable than this than this one the next stabilization effect is aromatic stabilization due to the presence of aromatic character it gives high stability to the carbocation this explains here we have a propylene ion then the cyclopropenyl carbocation and cyclopentadienyl cation among these three these two are more stable than this cyclopentadienyl cation because here we have a three pi bond and one positive charge therefore this is the aromatic also this cyclopropenyl carbocation is also aromatic but this cyclopentadienyl cation is anti aromatic and as we know the aromatic compounds are highly stable whereas the anti aromatic compounds are highly unstable due to the aromaticity the carbocation can be stabilized this is the one more stabilization effect for the carbocation then the most important thing stability due to cyclopropenyl ring this cyclopropyl methyl carbocation here we have a cyclopropyl methyl carbocation are even more stable than the benzyl carbocation in earlier steps we see the benzyl carbocation is stable due to the resonance effect but the cyclopropyl ring that is that is the cyclopropyl methyl carbocation is even more stable than the benzyl carbocation this is due to the overlap of electrons of electron rich sigma bond here we have a three sigma bond here we write here in the banana fashion these sigma electrons can be overlap with this empty p orbital this is more effectively because here it is a overlap of sigma bond and in the benzene there is a pi electron can be delocalized therefore the cyclopropyl carbocation is more stable than the benzene carbocation in this figure we show the sigma bond in the banana fashion these are electron rich sigma bond this is the vacant p orbital and here we write the overlap between electron rich sigma bond and the vacant p orbital therefore this cyclopropyl methyl carbocation is more stable here we have a three rings attached to this carbon atom therefore this is the more stable because it increases the increase in number of cyclopropyl rings hence the stability order is like this the next one is formation of carbocation the carbocations are generated by heterolytic fission and usually exist as an ion pair here ex it is a leaving group when it leaves there is a formation of carbocation this is one method for the preparation of carbocation that is heterolytic fission the next one is dehydration of alcohol here we have a 
hydroxyl group which can be protonated in acidic medium after this protonation there is a formation of better living group that is a water molecule when it leaves we got the secondary carbocation that means this is the one method for preparation that is dehydration of alcohol here the next example we have a three phenyl rings and this is the hydroxyl group when it is protonated there is a formation of h2o positive it can be leaves and there is a formation of tertiary carbocation which is more stable than the secondary carbocation this is one method for the preparation of carbocation dehydration of alcohol the next method is solvolysis of alkyl halide and sulfonate the alkyl halides generates carbocation when they are heated in the presence of polar protic solvent it generate the carbocation here we have a alkyl halide and it can be heated in presence of the polar solvent when it is heated in presence of polar protic solvent it can be generate the carbocation where x are the chlorine bromine iodine etc here we use the polar protic solvent because the leaving group have the negative charge and it can be attract over this polar protic solvent that makes this bond is weaker and there is a formation of carbocation is readily form the carbocation therefore this reaction occur in the polar protic solvent similarly in the alkyl sulfonates it generates the carbocation the next method is reaction of alkenes with acid here we have a alkene it can be react with acid the double bond the pi bond is accept this proton and there is a formation of carbocation when the alkenes are treated with bromsted acids such as the h2so4 generates the carbocation by using the magic acid that is fso3h in sb and the super acid carbocations can be readily generated even the alkenes can generate sorry here the alkenes here i write by mistakenly the alkenes but here it is the alkenes can generates the carbocation when they treated with this acid the next method is from diazonium salts the amines can be converted into the diazonium salt by treating them with nano2 in presence of h2so4 the form diazonium salt easily forms the carbocation due to the high stability of n2 when the amines it is reacted with nano2 in presence of h2so4 there is a formation of diazonium salt and after the removal of n2 molecule due to its high stability the cyclopropyl methyl carbocation is formed and it is a more stable due to the overlapping of this sigma bond into this p orbital this is the one method for the preparation of carbocation that is a from diazonium salt next we see the reactions of carbocation the first one is capture by nucleophile the carbocation can combine with the species having unshared electron pairs here we have a carbocation that is r positive and the nucleophile the negative charge of this nucleophile can be easily attracted over this positive that is the capture by this nucleophile this species with an unshared electron pair 
may be negatively charged or a neutral species. Most common nucleophiles are hydroxide, halides, water, ammonia, alcohols, amines, etc. For example, the SN1 reaction. Here we have a SN1 reaction. In first step, there is a formation of carbocation, and here we use the nucleophile that is the water molecule will on the over this oxygen atom can attack over this positive charge and we got this product this is the first reaction of carbocation in which the carbocation is captured by the nucleophile and the nucleophile can be hydroxide halide water ammonia alcohol amines etc the sn1 reactions are the example of this the next one is abstraction of beta hydrogen the carbocation may lose a proton from the beta position to give an olefin for example the carbocation by even reaction pathway gives the alkene here we have a molecule here are two types of proton here hb and ha when the base abstract the proton from this beta position there is a formation of alkene here the first in structure a there is a formation of alkene inside the ring but when the base abstract the proton of this there is a formation of double bond outside the ring that is the exo position and here the a is a more substituted alkene therefore this is the major product in the even elimination according to sedgwick rule hence this major product and this is the minor product in the even reaction usually this solvent or conjugate base act as a base the more substituted alkene is a major product in even elimination according to sedgwick rule hence a is a major product than b this is the one more method that are the abstraction of beta hydride the next are rearrangement an alkyl aryl group or a hydrogen migrates with its bonding electron pair to the adjacent positive center to give a more stable carbocation usually the primary converts itself into the secondary or tertiary and the secondary converts into tertiary carbocation in the following example a is a primary carbocation which rearranges to tertiary carbocation b via the methyl shift and the secondary carbocation c rearranges to tertiary carbocation d via the hydrogen shift here we have a carbocation that is the this is primary carbocation and when as we know the primary carbocation is less stable than the secondary and tertiary but here we have a methyl group it can be migrate over this carbocation to form the more stable carbocation that is the tertiary carbocation therefore here we write the primary converts itself into the tertiary carbocation therefore this b is more stable than this a carbocation this reaction is called rearrangement reaction in next example here it is a secondary carbocation and it can be rearranged to the tertiary carbocation via the hydrogen shift here we have a hydrogen and methyl group but the hydrogen is more readily shifted and there is a formation of 
tertiary carbocation therefore in two cases here the b carbocation is more stable than a via the methyl shift and among these two this b carbocation is more stable because it, it is a tertiary carbocation and this can be achieved by the hydrogen shift these reactions are the rearrangement reactions here we have another example we have a four member ring and there is a carbocation this is the small ring and due to the higher angle strength there is a shifting of this bond over this carbocation to make the ring expansion and there is a formation of positive charge here we got the five member carbocation ring therefore it is more stable than this one hence the smaller cyclic system usually undergo the ring expansion the driving force is a release of angle strain for example the conversion of less stable carbocation a this is the less stable carbocation to the more stable carbocation sometimes the migration occur to more distant positions also the next one more important concept is a non classical carbocation the non classical carbocations are special types of carbocations which show delocalization of three sigma bonds in three center two electron bonds in the bridge systems in other words the carbocations which are stabilized by the non adjacent groups are the non classical carbocation homo allylic carbocation here we have a allyl system and this pi bond can be delocalized with this positive charge and there is a formation of carbocation over this carbon atom initially the carbocation present over this carbon atom but after the shifting of this pi bond there is a formation of carbocation over this this is the re hybrid resonance structure of carbocation these are the homo allylic carbocation this is the non classical carbocation that is the three center two electron bond the next example is two nor norboronyl and seven norboronyl carbocation this is the classical carbocation when this sigma bond is shifted over this there is a formation of carbocation over this carbon atom that means here we write the dotted there is a formation of this sigma bond and this bond will undergo breaking this is the non classical carbocation but this one is a classical carbocation here we have a pi bond and there is a carbocation this is for in first structure this carbocation is classical carbocation but this pi bond is shifted over this carbocation and there is a formation of carbocation over this carbon atom and this carbon atom this is a non classical carbocation this is all about the carbocation in this video we have studied what are the intermediates then the detection of intermediates then the structure stability of carbocation via the inductive effect hyper conjugation and resonance effect then the aromatic stabilization then the stability due to cyclopropyl ring and then the formation of carbocation via the dehydration of alcohols solvolysis of alkyl halide and sulfonates then we see the reactions of alkenes with acid from the diazonium salt then reactions of carbocation the first one is a capture by nucleophile 
then abstraction of beta hydride and rearrangement reaction and the last point is the non classical carbocation i hope you understand thank you for watching